to this month's Two Minute Tip. Today we're going to talk about picture walks. Picture walks are a highly effective pre-reading strategy. That means that teachers do them before they read a text with their students. When I say the phrase picture walk, you might imagine a kindergarten teacher sitting in her rocking chair at the rug, leafing through a beautiful picture book before she reads it with her students. They make observations about the illustrations and form questions and predictions. And while this is an accurate depiction of a picture walk, the beauty of this strategy is that it can take on many forms. It doesn't have to be done at just the elementary classroom. We can use it in all grades and across all subject areas, and we should. Let's take a look at how an eighth grade science teacher uses this effective strategy with her students. Eighth graders, you know we've been learning about the water cycle. You just showed me what you knew about it so far on the quiz that you took. And um, we're gonna learn a little bit more today by reading an article on Science News Explorers online about how the water cycle is in particular different in really big cities, in urban areas, where there's a lot of really tall buildings and a ton of pavement that affects how the water flows and how all those different steps of the water cycle actually happen. Um, and so one good thing to do though, before we read a new text is to preview it. So we're gonna do a picture walk and we're gonna pay special attention before we read to the pictures in the text and to the headings and see what they can tell us about what we might read coming up. A picture walk gives purpose so and focus to reading. Notice how the teacher walks her students through the article, drawing attention to images and turning headings into questions. She then asks them to capture this information on a simple graphic organizer. This provides focus for the reading activity. You have a graphic organizer that's going to help us to keep track of the things we notice during our picture walk. We'll record, I'll record up here and you can record on your sheet, what are some things that you see, but then also what are some questions that we have, and then eventually you'll have an opportunity to read the article with the partner and actually answer the questions that we all have at the beginning. Before we read, let's look at the very first picture that appears even before the article title. What do you see in this picture? What do you notice? There's a car, what, what about the car? Is it just driving down the road all happy? Pay attention to how the teacher asks students to look critically at the images in the text and how this provides a jumping off point for them to ask questions about what they are learning and what they want to learn. to move through the water when the water level is very high. What are some things as we look at this picture, what, do you, what questions do you have about what you see? Nick? Where is it? Okay. So where? Maybe where is this flood? What about like why or how questions about the science that's going on here? How did the water get there? Are you following along on your sheets? You're kind of recording some of these things that we see in the head photo and some of the things that we wonder as well. Notice how the picture walk gives the teacher the opportunity to pause and build background knowledge, define academic vocabulary, clarify idiomatic expressions, and clarify multiple meaning words. How the urban rat race feeds the water cycle. How the urban rat race feeds the water cycle. Um, what's a rat race? Raise your hand if you've heard that term before. Not many of us. This is what's called an idiom. An idiom is like, you've been learning about this in language arts, haven't you? What's an idiom? A figure of speech. A figure of speech. It's like, it's like something that we say that has a different meaning, right? And so a rat race, I, I have a couple of pictures for you to help us understand what a rat race is. So this is maybe what we think of, like a bunch of rats or rodents running around or running on their hamster wheel at a new race. But what rat race actually means as an idiom is it's kind of like this competition that people have in society for money and power, and they're sort of, you know, constantly wanting more and more and more. And that's what we mean by the, the urban rat race. From tailpipe to thunderstorm. What's a tailpipe? I'm gonna show you a picture of a tailpipe. Raise your hand if you've noticed a tailpipe on a car that you've driven in, ridden in recently. What comes out of the tailpipe? Right? 
CO2 gas. So CO2, and we, we just finished learning about... Expert readers expert use all kinds of strategies to help them comprehend a text. During a picture walk, a teacher can explicitly teach and practice skills with students. One example of this is turning a heading into a question. So one thing that we know is that good readers turn headings into questions. So we go back to our article, from tailpipe to thunderstorm, how can we turn that into a question? How does the exhaust from a tailpipe lead to a thunderstorm? How does the, let's all write that one down. How does the exhaust from a tailpipe lead to a thunderstorm? A picture walk also provides multiple opportunities to engage with the text, improving comprehension and fluency. And this can be easily adapted and quickly implemented, which makes it a strategy we love. Try a picture walk this week with your students. Leave us a comment and let us know how it goes. And if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for your good and important work.